Layers are an important part of working with web and app designs so that we can keep our content organized and make it easier to select among a lot of other reasons actually. Now in Figma, content in the layers panel, which is on the left, is actually organized by frames. In this video, you'll explore layers and see how you can use them to your advantage in Figma. Now the layers panel is actually docked on the left here, and if we want to, we can make it a little bit wider, but we can't make it very narrow. It's gonna go as far as it is. If you wanna hide it, you can come up here to the menu, right up here, and you're gonna see we have view right there, and you'll see layers panel. So we can actually turn off or hide a lot of this different types of content that we've got out here. Now the layers panel is organized, like I said, by frames. If you look in here, if you hover over things, you're gonna see it's gonna actually highlight it out there, even the individual objects within a frame that you've got. Now, just like other programs, these are organized according to the frames out there in the canvas. So you can see hikes is the farthest to the right, etc. Now the ordering of the content here makes sense because if you've ever used layers before, you can see that things are stacked one on another. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take this image right here and if you hover over it out there, you'll see it's actually gonna highlight it in the layer stack. I wanna take that and I wanna put it behind all the content. So you can drag that up or down to move it around, which is kinda of cool. And that way we've got our content at the top up here. Let's make this rectangle a little bit shorter actually, just so it looks a little better. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna take that and turn that into a component so we can reuse it later. But one of the other things I love about the layers panel is that we can actually lock content. We can lock individual objects if we want to. We can hide content if we want to from here. A lot of the typicals, you can also double click on objects and rename them if you wanna do that, or even see what's in a group, for instance. Each one of these can be toggled open and closed so you can kinda of keep things a little bit more organized. Now what's interesting about layers is that like Photoshop and Illustrator and programs like that, we don't actually create layers in here. It depends on what's out here, what frames we create, what content we add, etc. There's no new layer button in here. And a lot of programs are starting to go that way. Now, if you come to one of the icons here, you can actually double click on the icon to the left, not the name, and it will zoom in so that we can see the object or whatever it's talking about, which is actually really useful. Like other applications, if you wanna take an object, you can actually duplicate it by option dragging on Mac or alt dragging on Windows to make a copy. Now, I don't wanna do that, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click on that object and you'll see we've got a lot of things we can do here. And I just wanna delete this, so I'll press escape, I don't see delete in there, so you can press backspace or delete to delete it if you did that. So the layers panel is really pretty straightforward, something we're gonna be using quite a bit. It does share with pages here. So if you see the pages, you'll see that it's part of the panel. And if you go from one page to the next, if you come here and actually click on one of these, you'll see that the layers panel is only for that individual page, which is actually really useful, I think. All right, let's try and fit everything back in the window. If you press shift one, you can kind of zoom to fit everything. There's a lot of keyboard commands we can use in here. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into one of my favorite features out here. We're gonna start to talk about components that allow us to work smarter.